Imagine using artificial intelligence to determine whether a COVID-19 patient should be admitted to the ICU. That's what researchers at the University of Waterloo and an alumni-founded startup company called Darwin AI are developing. The technology expands on their already existing neural network called COVIDnet. We expanded the COVIDnet project to have an AI that learned from over 200 different clinical features from heart rates to blood tests, vital signs, the medical history. And by learning from this wealth of information, it actually becomes very powerful at predicting whether somebody would benefit from uh, ICU admission. So, you know, the decision to move a patient into the ICU is a, is a pretty critical one. Is that something that we should be relying on computers for? Yeah, it's, it, it's a great question. And so we, we never envisioned that the system would replace a doctor or a medical professional. We designed the AI in a way that it actually tells the doctor exactly how it makes its decision or recommendations for ICU admission. And so the goal by providing this information, it is up to the clinician to make the final decision. It's a bit like getting a second opinion from a computer. Wong believes the technology could help improve efficiency and consistency in hospital settings, allowing doctors to make decisions about ICU admissions more quickly. COVIDnet was developed at the start of the pandemic to identify COVID-19 in chest x-rays and CT scans. It's an open source network, meaning medical professionals around the world can use, add to, and improve it. There's some implementation when they need to integrate it into their hospitals, but you know, we, we certainly, Darwin, doesn't receive a dime on it. We really wanted to make it free. Uh, given what was happening in the world. This newest AI software is only just being launched, but was trained using data from close to 400 cases at a Brazil hospital. The developers say at this point, it can predict the need for ICU admission in new COVID-19 cases with more than 95% accuracy. They hope doctors, especially ones here at home, will be open to field testing the new system. It's one thing to build a system that we think is quite reliable. It's another when you actually put it in the field and get the right feedback from the clinicians themselves. The newest software identifies patients who need ICU treatment, but it's all part of the larger COVIDnet project started at the beginning of the pandemic. Using the skills that we have at Darwin AI, we very quickly created a neural network called COVIDnet that diagnoses corona uh, based on chest x-rays and CT scans. And we decided to open source it to the entire community. So we didn't want to profit off it commercially. And we opened it up for researchers around the world uh, to leverage it, enhance it, augment it. And you know, within weeks, dozens of researchers, hundreds of individuals had reached out. Uh, we built a database of COVID and non-COVID patients so the AI could learn. And since then, uh, it's been you know, used in numerous hospitals around the world. Uh, we've gotten word it's been used in the United Kingdom, in Malaysia, Australia, even the outback in Australia, if you can believe it or not. Mm -hmm. So it kind of had a life of its own. And the other key part about University of Waterloo in terms of their AI mentality is about AI for social good which is something that we really strive for. The developers are continuing to expand the possibilities of COVIDnet, creating various tools to support doctors treating COVID-19. It can help them not only diagnose the illness and identify patients who need intensive care, but also detect the severity of COVID using AI analysis of medical images. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.